In this video, we'll cover the basics of customizing the data grid control. The grid allows you to instantly page through data using the built-in pager. You can sort data in ascending and descending order by clicking a column header. And the grid even provides multiple column sorting. You can also move any column by dragging it to any location or group data by dropping columns onto the group panel. The data grid allows you to easily filter data. Just type some text in the filter editor to filter data. You can also change the default filter option. If I click the edit button, it will switch the grid row into the edit state with automatically generated editors. I can also delete a record or insert a new one. I've already created a simple MVC application using the ASP.NET MVC5 application project template. Here is the index page. Now we need to add the data grid control to a page and set up a data source for it. To do this, start with calling the DevExtreme HTML helper extension method. I've already prepared a list of objects representing employees' information. Let's use the data source method to configure data access for the control. See how the data grid looks with the specified data and default settings. As you can see, each column shows the text from a data source field that this column is bound to. Let's reduce the number of displayed columns. To do this, I'll assign an array of specified columns to the columns option. I'll also add one more column with custom column text. Okay, let's see the result. Now let's add user interactive capabilities for the grid. By default, paging is enabled. So I'll just change the size of grid pages using the paging method with a lambda parameter. And let's see the result. The MVC grid allows you to sort data without writing a single line of code. I'll just change the sorting mode to multiple. And let's see how this works. I can sort a single column by clicking it. To select several columns, press Shift and click the desired columns. To deselect a column, press Control and the required column. Now I'll define the allow column reordering and allow column resizing methods to allow end users to reorder and resize columns. And let's see the result in a browser again. To allow end users to filter grid records, I'll enable the filter row. To do this, call the filter row method with a lambda parameter. Alright, let's see how filtering works. To filter grid records, type the required value or a part of it in the filter row cell. Matching records are determined according to the column's filter operation that is currently selected. To change the currently selected filter operation, click a filter icon and choose the required filter operation from the drop-down list. To restore the default filter operation, choose Reset from the list. Alright, now we'll look at the row selection and data grouping features. To enable row selection, define the selection mode option. It can be carried out in single or multiple mode. Here, I'll use the multiple one. Let's see how the grid looks with these settings. I can change grid selection by clicking a row, clicking check boxes displayed within the first column cells, or even select all rows at once. I can also select a region of rows by pressing shift and clicking rows that will be the first and last rows of the region. I'll click control and a row to deselect it. All right, as I showed in the beginning of this video, end users can apply grouping by dragging a column header and dropping it onto the group panel. So let's call the group panel method to enable the group panel. And let's see the result. Data grid records can be grouped by one column or by several.
Finally, let's enable grid editing. To do this, I'll set the allow adding, allow deleting, and allow updating fields to true. And let's see the result. All right, editing in the DX data grid can be performed in two different modes, batch and row. Since the row mode is used by default, we already saw how it works. Now let's enable batch editing to edit data by cells. And let's see the result in a browser again. To set a cell into the editing state, just click it. I can delete a row and even redo changes. I can also insert the new row in this mode. And that's it. To learn more about DevExtreme, ASP.NET, MVC tools, check out this playlist, subscribe to our channel, or refer to our documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.